are on our first morning in our continuation tour of Thailand and I've come 800 kilometers further south than Bangkok to a place just outside Krabi. Now it's only an hour's flight from Bangkok and then a 30 minute drive by car or air conditioned minibus. And I've now got two days fishing. Where am I? I'm at Gillam's, world famous Gillam's fishing resort. And I can tell you, the amount of fish I've seen swimming around this lake, I'm really looking forward to trying and catch as many different species over the next two days. First morning. As I said earlier, we arrived yesterday lunchtime and just relaxed. It's 20 to 8. We've only just got three rods out. And we're into the first fish, which is on the method mix, which I'll show you later on. And this fish is doing its damn best to get under all this hyacinths, which is down on my right hand side. That's why I'm trying to keep as much of this rod and line under the water. It comes Scott, my guide. Oh, he's going to get the other rod out of the way. Thank you, Scott. No problem. <laughs> what we've got to do is make this fish work for every inch of this line. What a beautiful place. As I say, it's not even 8 o'clock yet, and that sun is kicking up. And I'm starting to sweat already. <laughs> out of that edge. This fish does not want to give up. I'm using two hands and the knee. Such a beautiful lake, but it's completely surrounded by vegetation. I think we'll be clear, but it's keeping out a bit now, that's better. But I'm trying to keep all this side strain on this fish to pull him away. And as you heard, the clutches are set just perfectly. It's all top quality tackle down here. Ooh. Scott's now getting in the water. Lovely fight these fish do. Scott believes it's a red tailed catfish. I'll see if he's correct in a little while. You can see the rig? Yes, it is that beautiful, distinctive red tail, yellow belly. It's not ready though. That's what you like to see all them nice vortexes coming up in the water. Here it comes on the surface. Look. This is where you have to just take it a little bit easy. Let him go round in circles until he's ready to steer. Ooh, beautiful. Not a bad start, Scott. No, it's not a bad one at all. I'm just going to walk back so I can walk this into the net. There we go, Jim. Yes! That's what I mate. Look at that. Fantastic. This has got a bit of slack line. Beautiful fish. Stuart and his team take really good care of these fish as you've just seen. And one of the fishery rules that we must always abide to is that none of these fish actually come on here. Because uh, you've only got a wriggle in your hands, you slightly drop it yeah. and uh, you're going to hurt the fish. Although you don't intend to. So all the fish, the photographs, everything is taken in the water. And another thing is all jewelry. Always take your watches off. A lot of people don't realise how much damage you can do to a fish. Oh. Oh. Warming up for you? <laughs> Still a bit cool yeah. this time in the morning. You won't be complaining at <laughs> midday, I can promise you that. 
Look at that. Right. So if I just try and turn him round, I'll try and have the head this end. Okay. One thing about these catfish, they've got skin, very much like a shark, so they're very, very easy to hold and pick up. As he says, as he's trying not to fall <laughs> down the down the water. I'll just lift him up for the camera. Look at that. Look at that noise. Beautiful head. All on the top of this back here, it's like a saddle. By the di distinctive yellow belly and the famous red tail. My first fish at Gillam's. Absolute beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Magnificent fish. I could never tire catching these. Let's give him a breather before we release these fish. <coughs> so I said to you, take fantastic care. What they're going to do is squirt all this iodine antiseptic stuff just a bit worried, over the hook <coughs> and there where we injected the fish. Gives them a bit more of a pretty colour. <laughs> yeah. Bit of lipstick. Yeah. A little bit of makeup department. It may look strange, but believe you me, that is why these fish live so well and grow so well in this fantastic fishery. Give them a quick breather, and then we're going to give them a quick kiss. We're going to watch him swim away. I won't kiss your lipstick. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely well done, mate. Nice fish. Excellent stuff. Plenty of time for more. Oh, yes, definitely. Ooh, that's cooled me down. <laughs> so, give this one a recast. Right, Scott, so we're going to try a different bait this time. We are indeed. We're going to go for these halibut pellets. Let them soak it in this um, I can see. Look sardine and anchovy. State of that. What is it? Sardine? Sardine and anchovy. Really smelly. <laughs> nice and <isn't> much. <laughs> Maybe if you use a fish. <laughs> oh, just the same coming. on the hair again? Yep, yeah, exactly the same. Just gonna stick it on the hair. Everything is supplied. <clears throat> so all you need to do is just turn up and you'll be ready for fishing. And like you have with me this morning. Yep. Guides will basically take them to the swim and get them set up, make sure they're comfortable on their first day. Yep. Yeah? Yep, indeed. Point out any sort of areas and leave them to it. Yep. And obviously we have a whistle here, so when you have a fish, we come running. You just blow the whistle. Blow the whistle and we come running, yeah. Oh, perfect. Right, so look at that. That looks nice yeah. and smelly and very hot. Shark book. Oh, it is a shark book, isn't it? Just touch my hand there. Doesn't smell very appetising to me, but I'm sure it does to a fish. Oh yes, definitely. Shall we uh, go cast it out? Yep, excellent. Now let's uh, put the method on. Yep. So this is the method mix. Yes, indeed. Now uh, this, I could eat. That smells absolutely delicious. What have you got in this? Uh, basically, you've got chicken feed. Yeah. And you've got trout pellets, and you've got maize. Right. Okay. And what's all the little black bits? Is that That's the trout. Pellets. That is the trout That's pellets. The trout is it? Pellets, yeah. It smells delicious, and you've got this already made up to a nice. Nice binding consistency. consistency. Yep, indeed. And this is just a matter of building this up round, round the lead. That's it. Yeah. If I can try and do it myself. Yep. <laughs> How much do you actually put on of this? That'd be enough. That's enough, is it? Yeah. It's just trying to get it, make it like almost like a snowball. Yep. Just around the around the lead. Something like that. Yeah. Is that okay? That is. Yeah. It's fine. So that's just bound on there. So we're going to cast that out into the swim. That's going to hit the bottom break down, release all that feed, and yep. more importantly, release all those smells yep. and scent. Because the water is quite cloudy, so uh, fish and especially catfish and all these predators, they do rely on smell. smell yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's uh, give this one a cast out then. Excellent. Perfect. Just got a fly and take on this right hand rod. Oh, I've got to keep the rod right down again. Because he's going to try his hardest to get under all that person. Oh. 
we were just standing there with the, the bait rod, waiting for our primer to roll. See if we could cast that. This one's got some power. Listen to that rod and reel. He's got a long way down there. Oh, that was a lovely take. One bleep and then the rod just hurled round to the right. It took line. Absolutely perfect. Wonder what we got this time. Oh, there's nothing I can do with this fish. Really got some power. Just taking all that line. This is why it's so important to make sure that everything is set up perfectly. Rod, reel, line, and more importantly, the clutch. That's as much as my body power can take to try and pull that fish round and bring him nearer. I think in this swim, every single fish is gonna try and get under the vegetation. It's not a typical fighting stance you'd see me standing in, but by this way I can use my knee to help support my arm. I can put a lot of side strain on that fish. And just slowly reel and then pump. Up and down. Make the fish work. Keep the fish moving, that's the most important thing. If you rest, he rests. And he gets his strength back. Can you get his head up? That's off his fin now. There you go. Beautiful little red tailed catfish. Come around. There we go. In and there. Excellent. I'll just drop that rod. We'll get the hook out and uh, I'll come in there and join you. Excellent stuff. It's a lot deeper down there than you're actually thinking it, right it in is. the margins. <laughs> Three and a half foot, four foot. Yeah, and yeah. I'm right down. Mm. Ooh, there's a bit of mud and a few rocks yeah. down there underneath my feet. Another beautiful red tailed catfish from Gillum's. Magnificent fish. They're stunning. They're beautiful. Aren't you they? can never tire of catching these, can you? No. Caught them from all over the place, but I just love them. Absolutely love them. Got so much respect for them as a fish. They're just so powerful. I'll just keep putting them in, give them a breather. Lifting him out so you can see. But you've got that saddle there. It's armor just plating. armor plate and that is just like stone. Exactly the same spot again. We just lost one. But it just actually hit the bait and took it the second it hit the water. And as per usual, they're all going down the side. Power in that. What he can do is pump and wind. Trying to get him away from danger. And get him out into open water. Ooh, he just doesn't want to come out in open water. If I can get him out in open water, he can have a bit more of a pleasurely play with it. But just look at the power in that rod. These fish. Fight like hell, and you can see why anglers from all over the world want to cut the gillums to play these types of fish. You don't think it's a sorry thing? It's not now. Not now, it's changed, has it? It's changed, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I think something else is beating it yeah. to the bite. Now I can just take it a little bit more easy now. Because I'm at the end of the lake here, I've got to bully him to stop and getting into all the vegetation at the end. Oh, nice boil. Don't go down, don't go down. It's just a matter of keeping the stake. If you want to go to the vegetation, keep the rod well under the water. That line is going to keep away from all those snags. Right under our rod tips. All big fat red tail on that though. Looks like it might be another red tail. It is 
spots can get in the water. We'll give it a bit of line, so we're not on too short sure a line. Let's let the rod and the reel and the clutch do all the work. What it's all about. The most important part is enjoying it in its go. Oh yes indeed. Are you enjoying it? Oh, yes. oh yes. Don't I always look at that, just comes up and I'll just gently bring that back, keep his head up. Look at that, in the net. Fantastic. Look at the head on that one. Good fish. Good size. Let's have a look at our shower for the camera. It's gonna have a beautiful fish. One, two, three. Up she goes. Look at that. That's what you call a beautiful, beautiful. Red tail catfish. Magnificent. That's got to be, what would you say that? That's got to be a good 45 50 That has got to be a good 45 50 pound. I mean, that's actually making my arms shake. Beautiful. Let's give her a breather. Stunning, stunning fish. We'll give it a makeup, shall we? Yeah, indeed. Ooh, 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 she's, she's a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting nice and refreshed. Do you want me to lift her out so you can do the mouth? Just that little mark, one this side there, where it's had the injection. Just to lift up so there's any on the bottom fins or anything. Just on the top here I'm going to get. It's okay. She looks tail all okay. Beautiful. Tail's fine. Beautiful. Lovely. You've got to take real good care of these fish, haven't you? Although it does look like you're customised, I'm doing a bit of graffiti. But it's lots of strength in it. She wants to go home. Ready to go. Look at that. Look it's at the width absolute. for that as it goes back out. Look at Absolutely amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Brilliant. And that's the best bit, seeing them out swimming really strongly like that. Excellent. Well, well done, mate. mate. Nice Cheers. Time. Would you believe, we literally just cast the same rod out. We didn't even get a chance to put the other two out. Exactly the same. Little sweet money spot down there. And she's gone off. Straight away. Exactly same thing, trying to get to the hyacinths in the far corner. Strong, powerful fight. <laughs> Our money's got to be on a being on a red tail. There's obviously a big bunch of them down here at the moment. Although this one swam further out in the bay, he still wants to get underneath all that foliage. They know where their sanctuary is, and they know where they stand a chance of getting tangled up and shedding the hook and leave me tangled up. So I'm doing everything in our power to try and stop it. Ooh. But at the moment, it's like the fish is winning. Come on. Just listen to that reel. That clutch going. Magnificent sound. Oh, this fish is having a good go. Second ago, we had him right close. That's why Scott just <laughs> jumped in with him. Gently it? slipped in, and I don't know if it's the aftershave you're wearing or something, <laughs> but he was not impressed by you getting no, in the water. Wasn't. Suddenly found an extra little lease of life. But at least he's out in open water at the moment. Guide it gently in. Well, Look at the that. One. Stunning. Oh, it's a nice dark one it as well, isn't nice it? Yeah. It's a good size. Beautiful fish. Oh, you need that, don't you? And you've just had a nice fight. Oh, definitely. Look at the width of this fish. <gasps> you wait till I lift this up for the camera. So it took thought hard, didn't it? Oh, it's going to tail out the net. It's going to take some picking up. Still got quite a bit of life left in it. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, oh, fine. man, yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. Lift it up for the camera. Oh my god, yes! Oh, that got to be 50, 60 pounds, that 60, has. I'd say. Look at the width on that monster. That's what you can get if you come all the way down here and stay at Gillam's Resort. I tell you what, we've only been here a few hours. Yeah. And this is what it's like if you come here for a week's fishing. I'm starting, my muscles are starting to ache. I'm going to have one of your injections in a minute, I can tell you. That is beautiful. Let's just lift her head up again. Just look at that. Get her under the arm on that. That is 
massive. That lovely grunting noise is fantastic, isn't it? Let's, uh, give that. Oh, nearly forgot to give you a kiss, babe. That smile on his face. Look at that. Isn't <laughs> it? May they get bigger? <laughs> they are, mate. They are. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we said about getting one of the other 46 different species, and literally minutes later, we do. Yeah. And this is a sorobin? Yep, it's an Argentinian spotted sorobin. So they're native landers from Argentina. Argentina, yep. Yeah. But these are notoriously difficult to hold. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and pick him up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean. You just you feel him in your hands. He just, wants, just wants to go to all the time, doesn't he? Let's have a quick go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we nearly lost the one him. that got away. Almost. <laughs> Whoa. Let's have one quick look at the camera. See if we can get hold of it. Oh, it's it's terrible. Terrible. So just be careful with the pectoral yeah. fins. Yeah. I've got sharp pectoral fins, so I've got to be very careful how I hold this fish. Just steady. <laughs> just relax. Just relax. Come on, tickle your chin. Just relax. Oh, my glasses are coming off my nose, but never mind. I can just try and hold it, which is not easy. There you go. Oh. So they do calm down eventually. <laughs> yeah. We didn't fight that hard to start off with, did he? So we got him in pretty green, so yeah. let's just put my finger in the corner of the thumb in the corner of the mouth. Sacrifice my thumb <laughs> for the sake of TV. There you go. Good boy. Look at that. Look at the spots on that fish. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got and Matt just popped along to say hello there as well. We've just got a blind take on the boiler rod and the left hand rod. A hell of a displacement of water. He's actually on that far margin. And he's now trying his damn best to get down the other end of the lake. Oh. Strong fish. I'm just going to give that a little tweak. Oh. Come on, don't get down the end there. Try and pull him up. Oh. Try. Look at that big bow wave out there. Fantastic. Yeah. That was a real proper carp run that was, wasn't it, eh? No bleeps, nothing. The swinger just smacked into the rod. And it bait runner just screamed into life. A flying run on the old bite alarms. Oh, the, oh, pricking on something. Oh, it's a heavy fish. It is a nice, strong, heavy fish. Wonder what it is. Just broke surface on the far side, and my guide give a cry of joy. And it's a, another species. It's a, one of the ones that Thailand are really famous for, it's a Mekong catfish. Look at that fish, it's decided that it likes the top end of the lake instead of where we are, which is the bottom end of the lake. Oh, power in them fish. Oh, the tip of his tail, just like a submarine, just making its way along. I'm sweating, my arms are aching, and he is just basically, his tail is hardly moving. Just goes to show you the power that these fish have got. Where's he going to come up? Come on, come on, come on. Change angles. No, 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 no. And then you just see that tail, just a couple of flicks. Look at that power. Boils in the water down there. What anglers dream of. Come on, up, 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 up. Look at that sight. Fantastic. Gain a bit more line and keep his head up. Scott's going to slip in the water. He powers off because he just hears a little bit of a splash. He's not gone far. We're breaking. Breaking their back slowly. 
It's lovely in there. Yeah, I bet it is lovely in there. <laughs> Hopefully we slide this one in the net. I'm going to be getting him to join you. Right, if I can just pull him at the opposite angle. See what you turn him. If you didn't like it. <laughs> Look at that boil come up. That's probably come up from about five foot from the bottom. Ooh, fantastic. This is the stage of the fight where everything is creaking. Rod, real, me, and as you can probably hear from my voice, you're starting to really huff and puff. That's why we come fishing. Walk back to Scott. Put it in. Put it in. Whoa! <laughs> that is in! <laughs> I haven't got any energy to shake your hand. <laughs> well done, mate. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. A little bit Unbelievable. Traffic. Sorry. That's right, mate. Oh, it's just the excitement. <laughs> it's a mixture of excitement, adrenaline, and exhaustion. Right, I'm going to have to get in with Scott for this fish. And we can lift it out, look after it, and show you one of the other. 45 species we had left to catch, so we're now down at 44. <laughs> Look at that! Beauty. Well done! That is what you call a Mekong catfish. I'll fucking just tiptoe around so you can get a head on view. Look at that! This is gonna be what? 40 kilo, something yeah, like that? It's gotta be around that. And would you believe that oh unbelievable weight <laughs> that this is one of the smallest, the smallest <laughs> Mekong catfish? <laughs> in uh, Stuart Gillam's place down here. But uh, I'm well happy, it's just yeah. a bit quick breathe. I'm gonna lift it up one more time, and then we'll have to, we've already given it an injection. Oh, baby, come on. And then we'll, uh, let's just lift her up again. Uh, last look, there you go. You ready? <laughs> look at that. Put a tail on it. It's huge, huge. The weight that's in this head end is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. We're gonna slip her back in the net give her a tropical treatment and then I'll let her slide out of my hands to go and join all her brothers and sisters. Phenomenal take, absolutely. It just whacked straight up, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you think when we're fishing over that far side there wouldn't be enough room for the fish to be able to swim too far away to, to run like that? Just really In the mouth? In the mouth, yeah. Well, come over here, can you? Hold her head up a bit. Yeah, Let's get her pecs like that. Bit of, bit of, bit of lipstick, darling. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Even prettier than before. Absolutely beautiful. Hell of a mouth, isn't it? Give her a breather. Get all that oxygen in. Are you happy? In, she's yeah. well and truly strong. We've already injected her. Yeah, just hold her in the water and. Yeah. Until she's ready to go. Ready to go. Oh, she's ready to go. Oh, is she ready? Wow! <laughs> And a Mekong kiss to finish. Well done, mate. <laughs> nice one. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. Bloody brilliant. Oh, we just had a lion take on the left hand rod. Totally different fight this time. I can feel slap, slap, slap. So I know this isn't a red tail. Oh, it's going to come up. No, oh, it's not going to come up. Totally different fight. Nothing like the make. Oh, see that black tail? Yeah, I think that's Tambu Key. Yeah. Which is one of the new species that Stuart's recently put in. It is indeed. Ooh. Look at that boil just right down by Scott's feet. Yeah, we did have them in before. We've got quite a few big sizes. Just introduced some new ones. Yeah. What sort of size do these go up to? Uh, in here, about pound it. Really, a big size fish. I don't think this one's that, but it's another species. Isn't it funny? We tried so hard yesterday to catch so many different species just to show everybody how rich and diverse the fishery is. And although we're not complaining, we got completely red-tailed out, didn't we? We did indeed. And now today, this is our fourth species, isn't it? We've got a couple of red tails to start the day off. Spotted sovereign. Yeah, spotted sovereign Mekong, and now this one. Oh, oh, yeah. not quite ready. Let, him, let the rod do the work. Your head in the water. Come there we go. Yes. Nicely netted, mate. Well Nicely done. netted. Well done. 
Look at that, another new species, a tambu key. Look at the colours. That's just completely gold on the top and virtually black below the lateral line. Beautiful fish. Unbelievable fish. And they have got one hell of a set of denture tree on, their, on that mouth. I'm not going to put my fingers in there too much, but their teeth, they've got incisors and they've got molars. It's quite like human teeth, it really, is, aren't they, for is, a fish? Definitely. We just give them a quick breather. And we'll have a, give you one more last look at them. And then we'll give them a bit of a spray. Tropical treatment and we'll let her go. How big do you reckon this one is? It's got to be about 14. Yeah? Yeah. A hell of a back on them. They're nice and thick and they're broad. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning fish in this lovely sun. Try and get the fingers out as well as much as possible so it can really show that beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Another species well bites done. the dust. I will give you a kiss as long as you don't bite my lips, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So it's in absolutely good condition. Just a Doesn't little couple see. of marks of bumps on his head there. Just underneath. And turn around that side. That was all, all clean. Tail clean. Tail was full. Yeah. Lovely. Immaculate condition, isn't it? Perfect. It's full of life already, but it isn't going to take a lot to let go. Don't just let her. Yeah. One quick last look. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Breather, just make sure she's gonna feel the big gulps of air. Just let her power off my hand. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> well done. Unbelievable. Nice one. What are we Sean. down to now? About 43, aren't we? I can't remember now. 44, yeah, 43. 43. 43. <laughs> what a day sport. Yeah. Oh, just had a take on a dead bait rod we thought we'd see if we can try for something else but I've still got a couple of rods on a well one rod on the old monster crab boilies one on the faithful chicken heart but we thought we'd put one of these dead sea baits out that you can get round here we just had a lovely take on this rod haven't got a clue what this is powering around some nice shakes and vortexes going on. Oh. I'm not actually 100% certain that this fish actually knows it's hooked. It's got some... Yeah, it's trying to go up that vegetation. Ooh, another pine are rolling all round us, isn't it? It's come right under her edge. What's it going to be? Gotta be a bit careful here, make sure there's a slack on that clutch, because this fish I don't think is over at all. When they're under your rod tip, they suddenly decide to power off. That clutch is too tight. What a red tail. It's a nice red tail as well. <coughs> there you go. We, try, we put a dead bait on to try and get a different fish. We're still getting a red tail, but that looks absolutely beautiful. It's the biggest one we've had so far, wouldn't you say, Scott? Right, let's have a look. See what, what we've got. Got a lovely vibrant tail this one, isn't it? Some of them are more, although they're all called haze and red tails, sometimes their tails can be a bit more orangey, but this one is straight out of the copybook. Come on. In, 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 in. Look at that lovely <laughs> orange tail. A big goldfish. I'm going to walk the rod back. Try and keep his head up. No, up, 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 I said. Turn it. There we go. It's in the it's net. In the net. Well done, that man. Nice one. Woo! Floated dead bait. Look at the back on that fish. <laughs> Just look how wide it is. That Ooh. is absolutely phenomenal. 
just give them a little spray just a little bit on the back there one last look at that absolute beauty look at that Scott you worked very hard over these last days fantastic fish and we just had a, another one just before this didn't we yeah about 20 odd pound about 20 odd pound we've seen a few of these so we didn't bother filming that one but as this one is an absolute monster you can see look at the width of the back on that we let his head go down and just let him swim away strongly as hell that was a fantastic red tail that was scott that was really awesome fantastic just the width on that back as we've said 47 different species here isn't there yep there is indeed yep. um i haven't got a clue how many species we've had now I can't remember if it's three, four, or five. The tambuki, yeah. we've had the mekong catfish, we've had spotted zorobin, we've had red tail, we can't forget the red tail. <laughs> How many red tail? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Mekong, did we say mekong? Yeah, I said mekong. Oh, mekong. Really, yeah, yeah. And I think that's it, I think there's four species you've had so far. Four or five, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Tell me a bit more information about it. How, actually, how big's the lake? Uh, the lake's about eight and a half acres. Eight and a half acres. Yeah. And how old is the lake now? Four and a half years old. Four now. and a half years. That's since Stuart's been putting the fish in, it's been open to the general public. It has, yeah. yeah. And <clears throat> eight and a half acres, that's a good size. How many anglers, what's your maximum capacity that you can take on here? Well, we've got 20 swims, but we like to keep it down to about 16 anglers. About 16 yeah. anglers. Yeah, definitely. And the other thing about this is it's not just a lake, is it? This is Gillen's Resort yep. because it is a resort. It is, definitely. It's got fantastic um, villas. Yep. Infinity swimming pool, yep. which we've been staying in. And how many villas have you got here? Got seven. You got seven. Seven bungalows, yeah. Seven bungalows. Yep. And All each bungalow can take uh, eight. Uh, eight. Eight in each villa, yeah. Now, the accommodation here is on a room only basis. It is. Yeah, yeah. but there's no kitchens in the room or anything like that because you've got full catering facilities here, the restaurant. Yep. It serves both English? English and Thai. And yep. Thai. So, you've got an Eng as I understand it, you've got an English chef. We have indeed. And you've got Thai chef. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yep. if you're not really into Thai food, which I absolutely love. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if, you're, if your stomach doesn't allow it and you want traditional English food, there's a complete menu there. There is indeed, yeah. And, and yet again, you just pay for what you want. Yep. For as much as you drink and as much as you eat, and you just settle that bill at the end, what, end of your holiday. Yep. Sounds absolutely perfect. perfect. Yep. Yeah, again, same rod. <laughs> it's been out there two, three minutes. A couple of nice hair rigged hearts. And we've got another tambuki, which like to splash around and wet us. Ah, powered in the net that time. Wrong yeah. move, wasn't it, eh? Oh. You can see where they get away from us. <laughs> yeah. He's unfortunate about that last one. Yeah. We'll just get the hook out. We've had a fantastic day, haven't we? Excellent. Day. Absolutely brilliant day. Right. Covered in fish slime. Yep. We've been bathed by these things and fish. <laughs> Another tambuk. It's a peas in a, <laughs> peas in a pod. <coughs> we will actually try and get it out of the water and see if we can get a picture. Some behave really well I do and know. others, the first two were as good as gold, weren't they? Oh, completely. One, two, three for the camera. Go for it. There we go. Fantastic fish. They've got a phenomenal set of teeth, as we said earlier on. They've got the uh, molars in there. They're a bit, very, very close to human teeth, aren't yes. they? Very, very similar. You would not nuts. want to put your finger in it. That's for what? Crushing, crushing nuts. nuts. Is yeah. that what they yeah. would really eat in the wild? Yeah. Really. This one's got a taste, and a few of these have got a taste for chicken hearts. Yeah. Let's give them a breather. Your red stuff is there. Give his mouth a little spray. Yep. It's in absolutely immaculate condition. Not really seeing any marks on him. It's just a little cut in his tail. A little cut in his tail. He's been very, very That's well right. behaved. Yep, my sides are absolutely spotless. Lovely. Fins are spotless and everything. Absolutely fantastic. And I think the light is fading fast on us. Yep. And that would be a nice fitting end to our few days fishing here at Gillum's Resort. Crabby in Thailand. 
I've had a fantastic time. Thank you very much. No problem, mate. Thank You've you. worked really hard. We've both worked hard. All the crew's worked hard. It's been absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Mm. It's time to let this fish have a breather, swim off, pack away, and go and have a relaxing cup of coffee. Oh, might even have a beer, beer. or two. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well done, mate. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. It has really Go been on. a pleasure. Thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it.